Another part of bullying that we should consider is what we call the bystander effect. And this oftentimes contributes to the problem because these are children that are not actively involved in the bullying act, but who are witnessing or observing it and doing nothing to stop it or not intervening in any way. And oftentimes, the, you know, there are many reasons why children will choose to be bystanders rather than getting involved. Oftentimes they don't feel like it's their responsibility to get involved, so they're waiting for an adult or a teacher or a parent to get involved. Uh, but sometimes it's out of fear because they don't want to get involved and bring attention to themselves and therefore possibly increase the likelihood that they could become a victim as well. But it's really important to engage children in conversations about this because even though they're not actively supporting it, they are passively supporting bullying when they don't do anything to intervene. And it's important for them to understand also that there are many different ways to intervene. They don't necessarily have to stand alone against the bully. There are other things that they can do, like to get help from a teacher or to walk away, to not laugh, to not stand in a circle around the victim or around the kid that's being picked on, um, to not spread the rumors, to not pass them on. Those are ways that they can uh, fight against bullying where they're a little bit more protected to where they're less likely to be these bystanders who are supporting it.